Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for January 7th to January 13th, 2019 um, <clears throat> and while I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to uh, remind you once again guys that that will be a, a general reading for Aquarius star sign and therefore is going to resonate differently with the different Aquariuses. So for that purpose in this video I will uh, do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but at the end uh, you will have to align, align those meanings and that reading in general uh, with your situation for maximum accuracy. If you want to do that for you uh, and uh, analyze your situation just like I'm doing for the examples that I'm giving in this video then uh, that is a subject to a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing <clears throat> so uh, this is going to be as well a, a extended monthly tarot reading or rather like a uh, enhanced excuse me monthly uh, weekly tarot reading so for that purpose I will draw multiple cards per position or in our case a second card per position so just from the overview here uh, you Aquarius it does look like that uh, you will kind of like uh, change some things in your life uh, throughout that week and uh, in a positive aspect of course uh, we can see here in these couple of cards that based on a recent um, a recent growth it doesn't matter how big that growth is but a recent growth you had experienced in some of your fields or maybe just one of your fields uh, here throughout that week you will have to readapt yourself or kind of like uh, make the necessary changes in order to fit well with that uh, growth just to give you an example no different that someone is winning from the lottery and he that person usually adopts a, a different way of life or a different standard of life of course not every Aquarius is going to win from the lottery you know that could be as well a very small amount of growth but in the same time it will require from you to make the necessary changes in order to proceed on for, further with it and make it even bigger because the tree of uh, wands is a growth that uh, relies on already established uh, patterns on already established rules and already established plans for that matter and uh, in order for you to execute those plans as they are supposed to be executed will require a little bit adaptation and a little bit of a uh, changes that you need to consciously exert into your um, into your environment either career wise or either relationship wise the additional card here with the star card we, uh, to the nine of uh, ones excuse me is the star card which show the promise the big promise of uh, how lucrative or how successful those uh, small but very brilliant maneuvers of your behalf are going to be the star card promises first of all unfolding love in case you are in a chase of love it does promise a, a growth a long-term growth in case you are uh, you are in a chase of growth and as well the star card promises a, a big amount of support but the very least it does shows that throughout your new maneuvers here small maneuvers in order to make your environment much more comfortable and bearable for that matter you are going to render incapable a, a certain influence influence of turmoil in your life and uh, now as I'm seeing that card something comes to my mind as an example here you know um, let's say that you are that this uh, for you manifests into your career and uh, you are working upon a, a project that is uh, giving you a, a small amount of growth or in generally gives you growth into the career but in the same time you know you do have someone that is also involved into that project and basically they are sabotaging the whole thing with these cards I could say that that is an, an intentional sabotage so they don't want to do it but they're just simply not qualified or skilled enough to be in there 
and uh, the, the changes that you are to do throughout that week with your performance or with your standpoint for that matter or in generally you know with um, your adaptation toward the project itself it most likely going to uh, banish that person from there uh, one way or another <clears throat> So that was a that was a just an example, but yeah, with the nine uh, with the nine of wands, it's very important to um, kind of take a note um, from your previous experience, and uh, if you do so, uh, you most likely will be able to see from where the bad things can happen and how you can prevent it or how you can prevent those bad things happening and that will kind of like make you realize that you have to force some minor changes uh, either into your career or either into your relationship so you can proceed on further with the growth that you have recently initiated or with the opportunity of growth that you have recently initiated. The core of the situation, three of ones, as we said, that is about growing. And it, however, now I'm going to more deeper into the card. This is growing through challenges. So you have to place, uh, or you have placed in front of yourself some sort of an aim that if you don't realize it by this time, this week is going to prove itself to you as a, a very big aim of yours. And it will require most likely a additional devotion and as we said here a additional adaptation. However, for sure is going to repay itself off. We do have the star card as a topic of presence. <clears throat> The additional card here to the Tree of uh, Wands, that will be the Two of Cups, uh, the Two of Swords, excuse me, and the Two of Swords advises you uh, to kind of rely on your healthy sense of mistrust in that specific uh, follow-up. It is important here uh, to uh, act toward uh, this uh, in moment or inertia of growth based on your personal understanding and based on your thoughts. You should not... Um, act blindly, if I may express myself that way, uh, based on advices or statements of people that you don't have um, research before that. So every time you hear something, you always need to kind of like uh, place it against what you know to be true, just so you can see how real it is and uh, you know how uh, valid that statement is. Uh, so here with these uh, couple of cards uh, that kind of breed a, a very careful approach and a, a thorough research before you can actually decide what to do because in its uh, very core the two of swords it says exactly that before you decide what to do you have to consider all, all points of view also these cards here may kind of be interpreted in a more practical level and what they are showing is it, it what they are showing, excuse me, is that this agenda of yours, this new momentum of growth, is going to stabilize your environment one way or another because the Two of Swords is also the card of peace where everything lingers in, a, in an equilibrium and therefore there is no point of conflict. Uh, there could be no points of conflict in between your career and between your relationship. There may not be a, a point of conflict in between a project of yours and the project that you're working right now and etc. etc. But again, you have, to, uh, you have to approach the situation very, very carefully and uh, very analytically as well. Considering here that you will have to as well make some changes, those changes has to be very smartly defined and needs to be made with huge portion of wisdom and intelligence as well. Uh, premature actions are highly unadvisable here with these cards that we do have and whatever you do guys, do not gamble. What we said here with the Tree of Swords, with the Tree of Wands, excuse me, is that your growth is defined and it kind of it depends on the already existing patterns new patterns should not should not be established so even if you don't take any um any advice or any proposition under cons consideration and you just proceed forward with whatever you have planned until this very moment that will also grant you a, a moment a momentum or an inertia of growth either um <clears throat> 
is just again do not um, do not sway yourself of a uh, I don't know very attractive proposals uh, in case they are uh, involving a um, even the slightest amount of risk. The next card here uh, that will be the five of wands, which is showing the challenges which are causing predicaments. That will be with the eight of uh, with the eight of cups. And what these cards here are, um, are pointing <clears throat> is uh, kind of like they are uh, they are coming in a very positive way, although it's going to be a challenge. And the challenge here will be which kind of adaptations you have to incorporate. So here we are seeing that you will have many of those adaptations, but most likely you either won't have the means or the time to do all of them. So the choice in between which of those adaptations has to be incorporated either into your career or either into your relationship are, is going to be the challenge um, that you have to overcome. Additionally, what these cards here are pointing, that is completely off subject of this momentum of growth, is that if, the, if there is someone here to confront you and to appear as an opposition to you, these cards are advising actually to stand your ground and not to walk away. Walking away is going to be much more easy and is going to uh, kind of like... Um, how can I place it? It's going to diminish the opposition, but in the same time, it's not going to grant you any yields. Again, it's it's entirely your choice. You know, if you desperately want the yields, you are after outside of uh, this momentum of growth here. You can definitely go for, but if someone confronts you, you need to know that you will require a, a different strategy, which is going to be very difficult to adopt. It most likely uh, <clears throat> because most of the decisions there have already been uh, taken. And therefore, it's going to be very difficult for you to change the course of the events, although it's, it's not an impossible task. But uh, again, in the grand scheme of things, these cards are pointing that you will have troubles choosing from which kind of variety you, sh you should approach that momentum of growth that we're seeing here, which is going to grant you a, a moment of peace or an, an era of peace. And the last card that we do have, that is the Devil card, and the, um, the Catalyst will define how important the Devil card is. This is the guidance that Taro is offering to you, and we do have the Magician. And what these cards are pointing here is that, um, how can I place it really? Um, well, that is a huge contradictory. I, I, I don't want to lie to you guys. <clears throat> so... These cards are pointing that uh, you will not be able to uh, make as big uh, benefits as you would like to on your own. Although on your own you will be able to make benefits. All right. So it's entirely how you should approach that situation. But what happens here is the devil card which points the personal power and the personal strength strength and in general that energy you have which you can channel toward this momentum of growth here and really make things happen but in the same time the magician who wins followers is in an enemy type of position with the devil we do have passive enemies so as a guidance here these cards are asking you to slow down the motion for a while and gather up as much support as you can and as we said here with the star card you will that card also appear itself as a uh, um, a support unconditional support that you may adopt throughout the uh, uh, throughout the week <clears throat> so uh, just take your time to gather up the support because this support is going to help you make more adaptations than uh, than if you are on your own and also that support will uh, will allow you to maintain a, a better momentum. But if you go for the support option here, you also need to know that you have to incorporate authority and you have to incorporate um, sovereignty in there. So that mean means that whatever deal you are uh, you, you are about to strike with those people which are to support you throughout the through through your development, um, 
you have to first and foremost think, think excuse me for your own yields and so if you think that this uh, that this deal is going to be rather unfair these cards are pointing that you should not um, fall yourself in trap of that specific deal but you would rather pass those people which you are going to attract as a uh, followers here with these couple of cards they will follow you for the agenda itself for the purpose and for the goal not for the money if they are to follow you or not for the benefits in it so this is how you're going to recognize the faithful companions that can actually uh, help you through this cycle of growth and this cycle of, um, of improvement as well. <clears throat> These couple of cards, although very potent, are also very, I would say, destructive. Destructive in a sense that you can truly use this, uh, this energy to destroy things so you have to be very careful and that's why it is more advisable to have people around you which the very least will be able to take a precautionary measures to um, to kind of like diminish uh, that destructive energy you may adopt again and not allow it to jeopardize uh, to jeopardize your agenda <clears throat> So, um, all in all, this is the uh, the general tarot reading here. So, just to give you an example, I will go with a relationship one. You know, we have a cycle of growth that is going to uh, offer you a, a moment of peace. So, here, that could be the very common ground that you may have in between you and your wife, all right? Over a, a dispute that you have led for a quite a while, but now, for what it seems, you have found a, a fulcrum of solution, and you are working toward that fulcrum of solution, which requires adaptations from both sides. Which that will be the uh, the topic of your week. So you will have to make those adaptations. The thing is that there will be quite so many, <clears throat> all right. And uh, maybe you will not have the time nor the uh, nor the means to do all of them. So what you should do better here is to focus more upon those kind of adaptations that will actually serve you in the long run rather than with those which are going to serve you in a short term one. <clears throat> and finally here, those adaptations you know are going to grant you a, a huge momentum of power that you can afterwards use there in the relationship for so in some way to chain that person to you here and the magician card points that this chaining is going to be through a, a huge amount of uh, of sovereignty iron will and as well <clears throat> it will be very determined all right so some evil aquariuses can truly exert their will and they can bend people in their will all right so you if you are not Aquarius and you listen to that reading you know you need to know that throughout this week this is going to be the primal Aquarius energy to bend people under their will and that will be a I don't know I, I think with these cards Aquarius is that sooner or later the price that you will have to pay for such a thing will come around but you know it's um, it will be uh, entirely your decision how you should proceed with uh, that situation. And so that was the um, the tarot reading. Now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and what they are to show us is a uh, event that you should either look forward to or um, try to avoid. The first one, this is going to be the tree, and the tree is associated with a long-term thing. <clears throat> is associated as well with health, rooting, like taking strong position, and uh, literally that's that. It's kind of like, but it's it does give a, a property of a, a long-term goal. The next one, this is going to be the uh, child, and the child is associated with the child, and as well with sincerity and purity. And the last one, this is going to be the dog. The dog is associated with loyalty and also is associated with friend, a, a very good friend. So uh, it does look like that throughout this week you may find a person that you can have a, a long-term friendship with. Very sincere, very open 
and very innocent one friendship that could be a, a follower for a lifetime that you are going to face all right or for those who are having bad relationship with their children or with one of their children um, this may point here that this relationship will become much much more healthier well again this event it will be uh, slightly will slightly variate for every single different uh, Aquarius <clears throat> so uh, be on a watch out for that person which is very loyal and very uh, sincere with you and you can definitely build up a, a lifetime friendship with them and again be careful how you use your uh, power of bending because you can definitely you know bend people on your will uh, to do your let's say bidding but uh, I don't know toward what goal uh, or toward what end this is going to serve you. So that being said Aquarius, this was your weekly Tarot and, Le and Lenormand reading for January 7th to January 13th 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, once again this was a general reading for Aquarius star sign and for that reason it's going to resonate differently with every single different Aquarius. Now if you want your uh, your personal situation to be analyzed just like I did for uh, the few examples I gave in this video, uh, that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Brad signing out now, see you next time, bye.